Hi everybody, my name is Victoria. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking to you about all of the books that I plan to read in the month of May. In the month of May I'm planning on participating in the Medievalathon, which I don't remember if I participated in last year or not, but I do remember at least wanting to participate in it last year and so I thought this year would be the year. So if you haven't heard about it, it's hosted by Holly Hearts Books and it's themed around different prompts to acquire um, a medieval wardrobe and weapons and this year there's also a prompt where you can acquire some um, pet companions and so it's just all about uh, building a character, your own character, in the medieval world and I think it's a super cute and fun idea and I decided this year that I would like to participate. So let's go ahead and jump into the books. As I go through the books I will tell you all about what prompts it fulfills and yada yada. So here we go. So the first prompt actually determines your rank or status and it goes from either peasant and then all the way up to empress and so if you read seven books you're going to be an empress. So that's what I'm going for. I did finish seven books in the month of April so I'm confident that I can do it only simply because we are on quarantine. If it was any other month of May and life was normal, I probably couldn't finish seven books, but I think I can do it again based on what I read in April. The next prompts have to do with wardrobe, and so I'm gonna try and get two outfits. The first outfit, the prompt is for a pristine book. And for this one, I'm going to do a nonfiction book, which I have been meaning to get to at some point this year. I wasn't sure if I was gonna save this one for nonfiction November, but I have this really beautiful copy of The Hiding Place by Cory Ten Boom. And I don't know honestly a lot about this story up front. Um, my mom gifted this book to me. It's a very pretty hardcover. I would definitely say it is prist in pristine condition. It is brand new and I'm going to use this book for that. I haven't read nonfiction all year, I think. Ooh, is that true? It might be true. I think this is the first nonfiction book that I am reading all year so far. So I'm excited to do that. This book is also on my list of 20 books to get to in 2020. So excited to finally get to this one. All I know about this one really is that it's an autobiography, I think, and it's by Corrie Ten Boom, and she was in a plot to hide Jews from the Nazis, and she also was a Christian lady, and I know I've heard a lot of my fellow Christian friends talk about this book, and I know my mom read it and really liked it, which my mom doesn't read a lot of books, so if she read it and liked it, that probably says something. So <laughs> I'm excited about this one. I think it's going to be really hard hitting obviously with the subject matter and I'm just really looking forward to the experience of this book. So that is for the pristine book prompt. I'm also going for another wardrobe prompt and that is a book with your favorite color on the spine. I'm gonna go with Siege and Storm and it has this really pretty blue aquamarine color and I think that's at least one of my favorite colors. So I'm going with this one. I just finished Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, so I am ready to continue on with the second book. I feel like with this book I'm finally catching up to the rest of booktube. I do feel like I'm one of the only people on booktube who has not read this book. So I'm very excited to continue on. Really enjoyed the first one. I wasn't sure if I would or not. Um, I'm not used to reading a lot of lighter YA fantasy, so that was kind of a little bit different experience for me, but I really I really enjoyed it. I think the, the story and the premise is really good. It's basically a Russian backdrop for a light fantasy story, and there is definitely a strong thread of romance in it so far, so that actually might be able to cover another prompt that's coming up too, but I think Holly said you can't double up prompts. But anyways, this book fulfills the favorite color on the spine. I think I think these covers are really, really pretty. I like them. They're very, very well done. Also very shiny and reflective. The next prompt is to choose your weapons. And for this, I think I have 
a couple weapons for this one. So you got to have more than one weapon, right? You can't only have one type of weapon. So we're going for it. But I'm going to be reading for this one. It is something pointy on the cover of a book. And I think I'm going to pick well, The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson for this one. And you can see she is holding a sword or dagger. Yes, a, definitely a dagger. And so that is something pointy on the cover. I'm actually buddy reading this one with Rainy Day Reads. We read Miss Born together last month and we are very excited to continue on. I am just loving this story. This is an adult fantasy series a trilogy and I have just been wanting to get back into the world ever since I finished Miss Born. And I think that is really a testament to a good book is when you finish it and you want to dive right back in. So I'm really looking forward to continuing on with the Miss Born series, getting back into the world, getting back with the characters. I love the characters in this book so much and it's going to be a good time. The next prompt is to get a bow and arrow and for that you have to read a romance. I don't have any strict romance books but I do have two books that have a really strong romance theme so really I could use either one of those for this prompt. The first is continuing on with my read of Fruits Basket volume 10 and even though this isn't a romance per se there's definitely a lot of romance that happens it's very much a series about the characters and their relationships with each other so I think this definitely could count for a romance and then if not I have also Anne's House of Dreams which I am participating in the Analog 2020 we are reading through the whole Anne of Green Gables series and this one I think has a stronger romance pull than some of the past books from what I understand. So I could be totally wrong about that. We'll see. But I'm really excited to continue with the Anne series. I love these books so much. They bring me such warm and fuzziness and joy. And then the prompt to get the shield, because you cannot not have a shield, you must have a shield, very important, is a book that you have high expectations for. And for that one, I'm going to be using The Two Towers by J.R.R. Tolkien. I have high expectations for this because I have read this before and I already know I love The Lord of the Rings so much. And I think this second installment will also be five stars for me, but we'll see. I may be surprised by that. This is also a buddy read with Naomi from Naomi's Bookshelf. And I will link her down below too. And Naomi and I read The Fellowship of the Ring back in March. We did that together and then we took a break for April and now we're gonna continue on together. And this is also for the Lord of the Raid Along, hosted by Krista from uh, Books and Jams and Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand. So a lot of read-alongs that I am also counting as my medieval-a-thon TBR. Now we get into your sidekick animal companions, which I love this aspect of the readathon. I really do because I love animals so much. In fact, I love them so much that I'm going to attempt to get two animals <laughs> because who says I can only have one, right? I'm going to I'm going to have two animals. I'm going to have as, as many animals as I can, really. Let's be let's be honest. But the first one I'm going to attempt is a tall hardcover and for that you would get a horse companion, which obviously a horse is a very useful companion to have. So for that one, I'm going to be reading my book of the month pick, which I do not have a physical copy of yet, but it is in the mail. And this month for the book of the month pick, I'm going to be reading The Good Marriage or A Good Marriage. I can't remember if it's the or a, but I'll put a picture of it here. And this one is going to be interesting for me. It's definitely outside of my com comfort zone. I don't read a lot of thrillers, but I have really had an interest in getting into thrillers and exploring that genre more and finding ones I've liked. I've really had some hit or miss experiences with thrillers and so we'll see about this one. This one is from what I understand a legal thriller and we follow a woman who is a lawyer and she's going to be defending this man who's accused of murdering his wife and she I guess knows this man from her past or they went to college together or something and she is supposed to defend him, but as she learns more about the case, she's not so sure he's innocent. And uh, yeah, it has very obviously high reviews so far. Um, I think it's not released till May 5th, but Book of the Month is releasing it 
obviously with all of their books that they're releasing at the same time. So if you want to pick that one up, I know Book of the Month is selling it now. And it will be interesting because I, I'm not really a thriller experienced reader. I'm still trying to figure out kind of what I like. So I'm looking forward to getting into this one. And then finally the last prompt I'm going to be attempting is to get a dog companion. And I think for that one I hope this counts because I know that Holly said you can't double up on challenges, but I do have seven books already and two of them are buddy reads. So to get the dog companion, you have to do a buddy read with a friend and I'm doing two buddy reads this month. So I feel like that entitles me to two dog companions, right? Is that how that works? <laughs> and so just to recap that, I'm buddy reading The Well of Ascension with Rainy Day Reads and then I'm buddy reading The Two Towers with Naomi's Bookshelf. Those are all the books that I'm planning on reading for the Medievalathon in the month of May in addition to A Good Marriage as well, not pictured here. I feel like we have a very strong brown and blue theme going on. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize that till right now. <laughs> Everything I'm reading is brown or blue. That's a that's gonna be a cool color scheme. I didn't even plan it that way. I'd love to hear if you are participating in any readathons this month. Are you participating in the Medievalathon? Or are you just gonna mood read this month? I'd love to know what your reading plans are for the month of May. And let me know if you're also planning on participating in the Medievalathon. I'll have all the links for everyone I talked about and um, Holly Hart's books announcement video down below in case you want to check it out. I hope you're having a wonderful day and keep reading great books. And until next time, bye-bye.